Good morning, FS Club. Welcome back, gentlemen. Welcome back to FS News. Happy, happy Monday. Long weekend, but it is finally over and it's time for some regular news on our favorite game. Anyways, like I said, it is Monday, so that means we are back with the news and we have actually a lot of good news to go over today. For this Monday, we'll be going over a huge John Deere 8020, which I know all of you cannot wait for, plus some news on the 88 Chevy truck. Now, at the time of recording, which is, let's see, 6.53 a.m. Central Standard Time, there is not a testing list. But if one does come out, I will post it on the club's community page. Now, for the first question for this brand new week, what is the crop you harvest most on your farm or crops? Let me know in the comment section below. I don't know what it is, but I always lean towards doing a lot of corn and turning that corn into dry corn also let me know what you guys actually turn it into or for you guys just sell it straight on okay let's start this week off strong with a 400 like video so if you're excited for that john deere 8020 make sure to smash that like button also if you're new to the channel welcome to the club don't forget to hit that sub button and also don't forget to ring that bell pulling closer and closer to that 95,000 sub mark and then we only have a what 5,000 more and we hit that 100k now roll that intro and let's see this news and roll like they do on the radio Tommy's got brand new drums and I still have my old guitar Welcome back. Okay, sorry you guys had to deal with that long, long intro. Hopefully you guys survived. Okay, let's just get right on into the first piece of news for this Monday. First one is actually from Classic American Icons Modding. Of course, a few weeks ago we were talking about maybe their big buds might not come to Farming Simulator. Well, it looks like they kind of, uh, they're kind of working on it. Anyways, this just says some more update shots of the mods in progress. Uh, they know and appreciate Giants and FS for having their backs on this. If anything changes, they'll let everybody know. And they looking good. I cannot actually wait to see if these actually do come onto the mod up. Uh, we don't have that many big buds on the mod up, and it'll be nice to see these things right here. If you guys are wondering what these things are, these are the, I believe, big bud HN 350s. I cannot wait. Now, I also believe that they are actually working on a Steiger Wildcat Alice Calmers 440 and an International 4366. So a lot of stuff to actually look forward from them. And then over this weekend, we also got some news from Exoblad Modding about what he's been testing. He's been testing actually this right here, the versatile four-wheel drive 620 plus the Morris 9650 plus the Seedhawk toolbar. And man, that does look good, pretty good. And that is a long, long sentence. This will be coming out to the mod hub too. Just don't know if this will be a lizard or actually as a Morse. And now to the next piece of news for today, we actually have some news from Rooster Mods. It says the console Parker update is nearing completion, but they're always listening to and reading community requests. So here we go. Now for the Parker 4000 wagons, you will get to choose between the implement or the 385-65R 22.5 truck tires. If you are the kind of farmer that needs to haul 950 bushels at a time down long stretches of highway, then this option is going to work great for you. Not to mention how cool they actually look. On top of that, he's also added a lift assist spring support to the tongue for extra realism. So it no longer sits on the ground. It says we cannot wait for everybody to get their hands on even a better version of what we already love making. And those are some of my favorite gravity wagons actually in the game. So it's actually good that they are actually getting an update and it's going to even be better than what it already is. After that, I want some news from Sloosh Modding. Actually, just, just some teases. And this, of course, it is, is his 88 Chevy pickup truck. And man, that looks good. And I love the little decals on the side with that case right there. And I can't wait to see what happens whenever this does come out. And then on to that last piece of news for today, we have actually some news from Shaben Modding about a new project announcement. And this, of course, is on his John Deere 8020. I know a lot of people have been asking about this. Anyway, it says over the past month or so, he's decided to work on his John Deere 8020 to bring it to FS22. It is still in the work in progress state, but progress is being made relatively fast. While working on this project, he had the ability to learn more about the tractor and its unique history. Each tractor has its own background and story to tell. Most were sold to farmers, but a couple were sold to construction sites or to a gold mine. Out of the rumored 100 produced, only around 90 are left. That is crazy right there. He also said, if you would like to know more about the 8010 and 8020's background, you can also learn by watching this video right here, which I actually have the link to that video down in the description. Make sure you guys take a look at that if you guys are interested in a little bit of the background of the 8010s and 8020s. 
Also, he says that he needs everybody's help. If anybody can find or has a clear photo of the seat suspension for one of these behemoths, please D him with it as it will help with the process of making this a lot better. So make sure you guys head on over to his Facebook page, which that link is down in the description too. And make sure you guys DM him if you guys have any pictures. Okay, so that right there, guys, was the news for today. A lot of news actually happened over this week, and I'm especially happy to see that John Deere 8020. Anyways, what is today's schedule? Today's schedule, there is no other videos. The next live stream won't be until Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. A like would be appreciated if you did. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the club. Don't forget to hit that sub button and ring that bell. Well, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have an awesome day, guys. Peace. Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth